Let's take you to one of our other top stories now. Chris Honey's murderer, Janusz Valus' prison release has been postponed following a stabbing incident this week. The Justice Department says he will be released once he has fully recovered. Valus was set to be released today after being paroled last month. He served 30 years of a life sentence for the SACP leader's 1993 murder. This week, we saw scores of protesters outside the Khosimampuru prison in Pretoria demanding that he not be released. Let's take you live now to ENCA reporter Heidi Jokos, who is covering the story for us, and she joins us now live. Heidi, I guess in the midst of all of this, it's still the family that is feeling heartbroken by the decision taken by the Constitutional Court. Yes, certainly, uh, Maseko. I think uh, the family, especially the widow of Chris Hani, really um, not accepting that Constitutional Court judgment that was handed down. Uh, about um, a few days ago, a week or so ago. And uh, the reason for this is because it's literally opened up old wounds. Uh, you've heard um, Mayor Dimpo Hani indicating that she feels as though the decision by the Constitutional Court um, has basically reopened uh, the, the killing of her husband. And she says that uh, the situation has made her feel like her husband has been murdered for the second time. Uh, it's been really difficult for the family. And uh, what I think is even more difficult is the fact that details are still very sketchy in terms of what is actually going to happen with the release of Janusz Walus. And the reason for this is because yesterday was day 10, and uh, we were told that yesterday he was supposed to be released out on parole. But because he was um, stabbed on Tuesday, it's, uh, of course, um, has bought time for the Minister of Justice, Ronald Damola, to uh, put together those parole conditions because that still needs to happen. Mm. Uh, but yesterday there was a prayer service um, that was being held and we got a chance to speak to Bear Dimpo who indicated that she uh, is not happy and not satisfied with that decision and she says that uh, she just cannot believe that uh, the, the murderer of her husband is going to be released on parole. Let's listen to what she had to say to us. Well, Zondo, the famous Zondo, has made a judgment, given the minister instructions. Do you know how he put it? It was beautiful. Zondo says in Concord, I do not trust ministers in this country. Therefore, I'll make the judgment now, while it should be released within 10 days. Now, there are three spheres of government. I don't know where Zondo get the powers to be all over the show while there are three spheres of government. Mm, so uh, Correctional Services, Heidi, telling you uh, that uh, he will be released as soon as he's received full medical attention and the, uh, when the doctors give him the go-ahead to go home, right? Have they said anything about how badly he was hurt, how long it'll take maybe uh, for him to, uh, to heal? Unfortunately not, Maseko. We have been trying and really have been at pains to try and understand what's going on and to get those details. Where was he stabbed? How severe that wound is? Why was he stabbed? How long it's going to take for him to recover and possibly then be released out on parole? Um, but we have been told that all we know, it was a stabbing to the upper body. What was used to stab him? We don't even know that because, of course, you cannot have uh, sharp objects in uh, prison, maximum prison. So we don't really understand uh, what's going on. And the details have been very sketchy from the correctional, serv from correctional services. But yesterday, we did receive a statement from the Minister of Justice spokesperson Crispin Peary who indicated that together with the state attorney and the legal team of Janusz Walusz they have come to an agreement that he will only be released once he's in a better condition. We understand that he has been moved to a um, Department of Correctional Service Health Facility where he is receiving treatment. Which facility that is, we are uncertain of at this stage. But what we do know is that he is not at Jose Mampuru Prison at the moment because he is receiving medical treatment. So whether he gets better today, tomorrow, in a couple of days, he is eligible to be released on parole because yesterday was 10 days and the Constitutional Court did give the clear to say within 10 days he should be released out on parole after serving almost three decades. Mm. What's also important here is the fact that uh, Home Affairs did say that he will not serve parole in Poland where he originally comes from. He will serve his parole and time here 
in South Africa. All right, Heidi Jokos, live for us from outside the Kosi Mampuru prison in Pretoria. Let's